what's going on guys welcome to another video so if you're not familiar already stadium was pulled from the app store not long ago this was an app that allowed you to play stadia with any bluetooth controller on your iphone or your ipad um, apple does not allow this bluetooth controller support therefore they wound up pulling stadium now if you still have it on your phone or your ipad you can still use it you can still play stadia you're good to go but if you delete it you might not be able to get it again and you certainly can't go to the app store and get it now but huge huge shout out to cloud gaming extreme the youtube channel over there we do a podcast together every saturday if you're not familiar 5 p.m eastern to 7 p.m eastern we talk about all the cloud gaming over there and it's a lot of fun they sh shined light on this new app desktop only browser huge shout out to them for that they've got their video over there showing how to get this going as well um, it's a great way to play stadia now the caveat is you must have a stadia controller no Bluetooth support in this browser app. Otherwise, Apple would just pull it. So uh, we've got you've got to use your Stadia controller because you're connecting through Wi-Fi, uh, and then everything works really, really well though. Uh, once you go through that, because you're just connecting through the desktop, through the desktop browser, like anything else. So let's go over and take a look at how to download that desktop only browser get onto stadia and launch a game it works really really well and i want to show you guys how to do that a lot of you have been uh commenting and really waiting for this video because you saw the stadium video and now they've pulled it and you can't get it so this will help you keep going and i'm also going to go back and update those other videos as well for people that run into those they can get forwarded to this video so let's go check out desktop only browser playing stadia on my iphone 12 pro all right guys so over here on the iphone you want to go to the app store and search for the desktop only browser right now it's the only one that comes up so um, just make sure you're getting the right one desktop only browser very simple very easy to set up here even though you do have to use your stadia controller and connect that way so i've opened my desktop browser since i've already got it downloaded we're going to click open and add url and we're going to do our stadia.google.com now i'm in dark mode here so it's hard for you to see but that's where we're headed stadia.google.com we're going to save that as one of our urls so that we can just go back to open click on that and it should take us right to Stadia sign-in page. So let's get on to that. There you go. Took us to Stadia website. And all I got to do is click on the, uh, the Try Stadia Pro Free. It'll take me to the login. So use your uh, Stadia information to get logged in. This is a very simple process. Compared to Stadium, this is just like normal this is very easy to do it's just that you are locked into the stadia controller you can't use any bluetooth controller support but chances are you do have a stadia controller if you're playing stadia so all right so there you have it we put that in we're right onto my stadia homepage here with all of my games you can connect your controller next and then use that to browse everything launch the games play all the games on your iphone or your ipad and you'll be you'll be good to go so i click on the icon up there for the controller turn my controller on and do the a the a up x up and it won't take very long usually about 10 seconds or so i seem to be connected so and there you have it the stadia controller is connected and i'm using it to uh to browse around here so what i'm going to do just to get into something is i'll launch i'll launch uh division two we'll go into that game real quick i'm going to skip us past the loading here and i'll just show you the game uh running on the iphone All right, guys, so we're loading into the game here. We're good to go. Um, now, this game looks way better on my iPhone screen than it does through uh, Elgato's screen link here. It's it's not always the best quality, but it does a good job so that I can uh, easily capture my phone uh, screen here for you. But I'm just letting you know that the colors and uh, the, uh, the FPS, everything just looks so good on the phone compared to the capture here. But this definitely still gives you a good idea. So we are running the Division 2 very, very smooth on the desktop only browser on the iPhone and uh, I've been using this a good bit before I made the video I wanted to make sure I didn't have any problems and I've been using this for probably almost two weeks on and off and it's been a great way to play Stadia on my iPhone I use my Stadia controller anyway um, so and if you don't have a Stadia controller maybe think about grabbing one up I mean I actually kind of like the controller it's not bad and it, it runs through Wi-Fi rather than Bluetooth and I tend to get a better experience anyway so 
All right, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. The Division 2 running on Stadia, running on my iPhone. So once again, we have a way to run Stadia on iOS, on iPhone, on iPad. It's been working really great. Like I said, the only caveat, you got to have your Stadia controller, but it's a good experience anyways. So uh, decent to have that for running Stadia on the iPhone. This has been working really, really well for me. So uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Uh, if you're coming from the Stadium video, that app is gone for now. So pretty much depend on this as your way to play Stadia on iOS. Thanks a lot for coming and checking out this video, guys. If you haven't already, think about subscribing to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Ring that notification bell. All that stuff goes a long ways to help the channel. Leave me your comments down below. And once again, I really do appreciate it. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next video.